Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are listening to the Geek and Freak Podcast. I'm Mike Fitz here with... Aaron Strange. Welcome to episode two. Did I just cut you off? Sorry. You always do. I I do? <laughs> like, what do I cut off? Nah. Uh, you're oh no, we're gonna try not to make we're gonna try <laughs> not to make five seconds. <laughs> we're gonna. Try, I promised Mike I wouldn't make any like sex jokes or comments. I wouldn't turn this into like toilet humor. That I'm just acknowledging that I won't do it. He's that's turning it me, into Love Line. I. <laughs> maybe that's what people like about it. Would even that make me are, Adam Carolla or we, Dr. Drew? Dr. Drew, okay. definitely. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we already took the pre selfie for the uh, this episode already too, and. Uh, yeah, Mike did the intro. I think I cut him off, so go ahead. No, that's fine. That's, that's fine? The moment has passed. Um, well, you know, today at work I saw that a bunch of people are leaving the um, DC Cinematic Universe movies. How does that make you the feel? DCEU? Fi- the, the first person I thought of was Fitzgerald. I'm like, I wonder how this uh, makes Mike think, and uh, it kind of pisses me off. I'm literally, like, in mourning. Like, this is all the Marvel zombies that are like, oh, fuck DC, that's just giving them more fuel. But I honestly don't think Henry Cavill's actually going to leave. He put up that weird Instagram post, and his manager, who, fun fact, is also The Rock's ex-wife, Danny Garcia, uh, is also... Don't even know who that is. Okay. Henry Cavill's manager is The Rock's ex-wife. Cool. But anyway, it's true. Google it. Um, Oh, I totally forgot because we're bad podcast hosts. Today is uh, Thursday, September... 13th, 2018. We're, we're fucking retarded. Yep. Sorry, anyway, so, uh, yeah, Superman's um, wife is The Rock's ex fiance. What? No, Henry Cavill's manager, yes. Danny Garcia, is The Rock's ex wife. Wait, Danny? So The Rock was married to a man? No. It's girls can Not also that be... there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> girls can also be named Danny. I know that. Well, what the hell was that? That was my phone. Get his phone to shook the whole table? That's professional. <laughs> that was my phone, not Mike's ass. We are professional broadcasters, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I saw the thing. I'm like, I saw Henry, Henry, right? Henry, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Like, uh, Cruella DeVille. Henry Cavill and, uh, Ben Affleck are both leaving, right? Yeah, Ben Affleck. Well, and, he's in rehab or something, Yeah, he correct? went back to rehab. And Ben Affleck went from writing, directing, and starring in the Batman movie, to having absolutely nothing to do with it, which is sad, because, and I honestly, all right. Well, can't they just, like, do movies while he's away, and then re- No, no, because he's done his, he's definitely done his Batman. Henry Cavill, I think there's a possibility could come back. I think Ben Affleck is, is a done deal, because he, first of all, Matt Reeves, who's directing the Batman, wants someone younger to play Batman. He wants it to be, like... Any relation to Christopher Reeves? No. <laughs> Kid just keeps throwing me off my point. <laughs> um, oh, but and, and I don't even think the Batman movie is gonna happen. I think, I think after Aquaman and Wonder Woman two and Shazam, Aquaman looks awesome, by the way. Yes, Shazam and Aquaman both look amazing, and Wonder Woman two is obviously gonna be great. But I think after those movies, DC is gonna just start over. Like you're never gonna see the Flash movie. You're never gonna see a Man of Steel two. You're never going to see the, this Birds of Prey, Holly Quinn movie that everyone's talking about. It's, I think they're either going to comp- just stop for a while or completely reboot. And my suggestion of how, you want to hear how I would fix the DC Universe? Well, can't they keep some of the things, like the Suicide Squad film and like me? Ma- you'll I thought... never see Suicide Squad 2, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I guess that had mixed reviews, so. But they supposedly is making it, but I, it's just not going to happen. It's, I think what's going to happen is they're just going to do standalone movies, like, They'll acknowledge each other, like Aquaman, Wonder Woman, but I don't... Because I'm, I'm losing my train of thought here. I'm like... <laughs> on a, the whole... Well, the, the, uh, yeah, his rant is confusing, just like the DCEU. <laughs> That's the problem. Wait, is it EU or DCU? DCEU. Well, shouldn't it be DCCU for... No, it's DC Extended Universe. Oh, all right. Um, But I guess what set everything off with why they wanted to get rid of Henry Cavill in the first place... They wanted him to do a cameo in Shazam. Yeah. And, and he was he, too busy. Because he's doing that Witcher yeah. show that's based on uh, the video game that I've never played. Well, I don't think it was that because that's not being filmed yet. 
we're in Fitz's mom's basement and some kind of fucking water the thing's hell? going off above us and it's, it's really, cause we're talking about Aquaman. It's seriously horrifying. <laughs> this is like how the ring started, but okay. Um I I need to refocus because I'm so like all over the place here with this. <laughs> Maybe this like, should be a one man podcast. I got too many thoughts on this. Really? Yeah, so you're not gonna continue it, you I'm mean? T- I'm no, I'm thinking. Oh good. Okay. All right. Oh, I was not okay, I remember what I was gonna say. Alright. You know how I would fix the DC? How would you fix the DC EU, Michael Fitz? All right, so they said the Flash movie that I don't think is going to happen is going to be Flashpoint. So what they need to do is just Flashpoint the shit out of the DC Extended Universe. For people who don't know, Flashpoint is a comic that makes multiple universes collide, right? Well, the Flash goes back in time to save his mother, and it just like shatters the universe. And then, long story short, he puts it back together. But when he puts it back together, it's a little... It's, 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 they explain it if you broke a mirror, and then you glued it back together. Yeah. It'd be back together, but there would be cracks, and it'd be different. And So, like, everyone was younger, and was, that was the new 52. So what they can do, fucking Flashpoint, when, at the end, Wonder Woman can be the same, Aquaman can be the same, Shazam can be the same. And then recast the other Superman, roles. Batman can be different. Like, well, that would be cool. That would probably be confusing as hell to regular standard moviegoers. But but that's why people don't like those movies, because they're not for the regular standard. Yeah. Like, Marvel's very much like, here's Captain America. This is what he does. This is where he came from. Mm-hmm. Here's Thor. Thor knows Captain America. <laughs> where the DC universe is just like, hey, look, that's the fucking Flash popping out of the sky <laughs> talking to Batman. Get it? Like, the comic fans do, but you're like... You don't. There's these weird alien bug creatures floating all over the place, and uh, right. what the hell are those things called that were in Justice League? Parademon. Yeah, they they looked scary. They're I awesome. finally watched that. Did I tell you? Oh, you did. Yeah, I liked it. What did you think? It was good. Honestly, I watched the first like 45 minutes. Then I had to do something, and I caught like the last part of it. So I got to watch it all the way through. But I did like it, and I'm not just saying that to be like a Marvel hate boy or anything like that, and just hate everything. I did like it. I yeah. like that robot thing that was like a big beetle that Batman had. The um, the robot suit thing, whatever the hell it was. Oh, I forget the hell was the, the, oh, the hell was it called? The something walker. I forget what it was called. I don't know how I avoided spoilers. I knew Superman obviously came back. I thought it was going to be towards the end, but he was a lot in that movie a lot. I liked how they tried to make it more funny. Like, And I think the, the part when Superman, when he's like, so I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die again, MX. I like being alive. And then it blows up, and he's like, "Oh God, I wish I was. I take it back. I want to die." Well, what was the thing he said to Batman? He's like, "You don't like me," and he's like, "I don't not." Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like what the fuck? I did not expect that line. <laughs> it was a good movie. But in good news for DC Comics, this weekend is the launch of DC Universe. I'm very very excited. Now I know it, you are too. Now, right? now here's a continu- continu- continuation. From our first episode, because I think you briefly mentioned the DC uh, Netflix type streaming service, correct? Is that what this is? Did I? That is what it is, but I don't remember mentioning it in the first podcast, but I probably did. Yeah, you did. It was like halfway through because we were talking about how you said Netflix was going to die because everyone's going to have their own fucking streaming service like Netflix and put Netflix out of business. Mm-hmm. DC's going to have one. Yep. Marvel, uh, not Marvel, Disney and all that shit. That's stupid. And your nose is running. And there's a beetle. What the fuck? Oh my god, this beetle's running around in Fitz's <laughs> basement. He's trying to kill it. The beetle attack. It just ran towards his foot. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, it's the fight of the century. <laughs> Fitz versus beetle. <laughs> beetle. <laughs> you should take a picture of that. We can put it on the podcast inst- Instagram. I didn't get him. It's the one that got away. It's going to crawl bitch. up your foot. It's going to bite me. Maybe I'll get beetle powers. Uh... Anyway, who are we? I don't know. <laughs> For the you, beetle attack? We're uh, we're we're not professional podcasters. Is that what podcast Clearly. people are called? We're not even professional human beings. But um, we're, we're sitting just as close together as we were last episode. Yeah, definitely have to can. get another microphone. Yeah, we definitely need to because we're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was dead air. <laughs> um, random as hell. You know what tomorrow's date is? The fourteenth. Yeah, of September. You, you know what? I just realized that's uh. The eight year, the eighth year birth, the eighth birthday, Jesus, of uh, Halo Reach. That game came out almost ten years Holy ago. Shit. Remember all those Halo nights we used to have? Yep. It's, when did uh, Halo Three come out? 
Halo that's, 3. Well, that's not the first one you asked. That's the third one. Oh, you're talking about because... All right. Yeah, because that's the first one I ever like really remember playing. That was 2007, I think. Oh, I think that shit. was 2007 because Fitz came with me and a bunch of friends to wait in line outside of the GameStop for like an hour or two to um to pick up Halo 7. Like all, I miss those days. It's not like that anymore, but... Yeah, so that was well over 10 years now. Remember we left you outside Burger King? Drove yeah, you guys were fucking dicks. Like, I went out <laughs> to take a piss outside of Burger King, right? Yeah. Or something like that. And Yeah, you're like by like the dumpster beside it, and we just like drove away to the other parking lot. That was a fun night. Like, none of us really had the internet then, except for maybe our friend uh, PJ. <clears throat> and um, we went to his mom's house. All of us with like our big LCD TVs. Yeah, well, flat, I don't know, fucking big-ass heavy TVs yeah, drove down there. Yeah, all the flat screens there, back then. Set everything up, brought, brought the uh, link cables, HDMI cables, and our Xboxes, and we all hooked up our 360s at, like, fucking 2.30 in the morning and played Halo 3. It was awesome. Yeah, we were seriously there, like, all night, because it was, the, what, the midnight release? We didn't even get yeah. it till after midnight. Yeah, it opens, and they sell them to you at noon when you pick them up. And, I mean, noon, at noon. <laughs> at fucking midnight, but, yeah, we didn't get home till like, Two. Well, we didn't get to PJ's house till yeah, like two. Yeah, we didn't stop playing till like two. Yeah, I mean, having to set all the televisions up, and but we didn't get home home till like four, four yeah, or five in the morning. At least. Um, but yeah, Halo Reach is my favorite Halo game. That's an unpopular opinion because that's when they started switching it up and it made it kind of more Call of Duty ish because you could make your guy. You said duty ish. <laughs> duty. I thought we weren't going to be filthy on this episode. <laughs> duty. Duty's duty. Not filthy. But uh, yeah, you could use jetpacks and do all these weird tricks with your character instead of it just being everybody starts the same. So a lot of people got pissed off, but I think Halo Reach was the most fun. That's the one I spent the most time with, and uh, we had a lot of good custom game nights playing uh, weird shit. Like, you could throw golf balls at each other and hit each other with golf clubs. Is and... that the one that has the, like, you capture the skull and you gotta keep the skull that has, has the longest? Yeah, uh, that's oddball. That's in every Halo game. No. But uh, there was the one that you could, uh, called Headhunter, where whoever was in the lead... Had like a bunch of skulls, and if you kill them, the skulls go flying all over the place. Yeah, remember you still like always win. You guys used to get pissed because yeah, the game get I was pissed good at. Because you had fucking like idiot savant <laughs> skill when it came to video games. But the best reason why fucking Halo Re- Halo Reach was my favorite is because there was a race mode where you could race around. Because we someone made like Mario Kart levels, and we could race around in those little like quad racers, the fucking monsters oh, yeah, things driving you could, around. Because like, remember racing. one of the times like I jumped on yours and started like. You were shooting the guys, and, and no, you were driving. I was shooting the guys. Yeah, it was amazing. You were, like screaming at me. Oh, you might be thinking a rocket race. No, 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 no. That was yeah, that was a race mode too. But yeah, that was fun. You play a first person shooter to make it into a racing game where you could hit people with golf clubs and rocket launches. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. The whole time you're talking, I'm just worrying that this beetle is gonna come back and attack me again. It probably is. It's probably up your pant leg right now. It, it might Actually, be. you're wearing shorts, so it's not really up your pant leg. I'm scared. But uh. Happy 8th birthday, Halo Reach. I wanted to bring that up. I totally... To- I mean, by that... This podcast will probably go up tomorrow on the 14th, so... Technically, it would be like, Happy birthday today, <laughs> Halo Reach. Now, Mike, you're such a hardcore gamer. What's oh, yeah. your favorite Halo? Halo 3, just because of, uh... The memories? Yeah. Well, that's... Everybody likes Halo 3. Well, I'm... Everybody, I guess. <laughs> I, I like- I'm a somebody! For stories, I like Halo 2 and Halo 4, and for multiplayer, I like Halo Reach and Halo 5. And now everybody just unsubscribed to my, from my YouTube channel and disliked the hell out of the fucking podcast app on iTunes because I just said the most unpopular opinions are my favorite Thanks, Halo man. games, right? I know. Which I know, I figured out how the fuck to put us on iTunes. You have no idea, Fitzgerald, what I had to go through <laughs> to figure that out. I don't read. I can't read. That's not making fun of dyslexic people or anything. I just don't have the attention span. If I look up one paragraph that tells me how to upload something to anything, well, it loses me after five words. People? Because I'm an idiot. You read backwards? Okay? Maybe. <laughs> I read upside down and naked. Wow. Is what you said. I did. I, I don't. I don't not. <laughs> I don't not read naked. I don't not read clothed. Uh, is that all I wanted to say about Halo? I think. Yeah. Best first person shooter ever in the history of video games. Halo. No. Yes. Call of Duty. Wow. <laughs> hey, you said duty now. <laughs> I just completely just threw that out there. Pulled that. Pulled that out my ass like duty. Dick. I used to spend so much time dressing up. Each, like, all right, you you guys in the audience. The, 
the, if, if, <laughs> all if, one of you. All, all one of you. For in Halo, you could make it. You, it was for sixteen players, so I had multiple profiles that weren't online. So when I knew, like you know, Fitz or like our other friends, like Martin or my brother, would come over, they had backup profiles. So I would like dress up each one of their characters. You call them Spartans. The the aliens, uh, the uh, the character you are in a in a Halo game is a Spartan. It's like a Marine, basically, just a guy with armor. So I'd dress up each one. So Fitz is obsessed with Superman. So I made his guy blue and red. And, yeah, and then Martin's guy was, like, green. Like, who the fuck does that? <laughs> who does that? Someone with I should have been working a lot more than I was at that time in 2010 when it first came out. No, instead I'm dressing up everybody's Spartans that don't even give a fuck about Halo. I'm not going to deny that. That's, uh, that's my, that's my thing about Halo. No, I, see, I don't, obviously I'm not a video game guy, but I do like Halo. Just because, like I said, just because of, like, the memories and all the stupid shit we used to do and the fun that we had with it. Yeah, that's why most people get attached to anything, like a CD or a band or, like, right. anything. When everyone's like, oh, Marilyn Manson was ba- way better when during Antichrist Superstar in his early days. They're just attached to the memories that they had yeah. or whatever was going on in their life when that happened. That's why. They just don't give new shit a chance. Like, every like- Halo game is... Every game is pretty much an improvement over the last one. You're fucking you're an, idiot, an idiot if you think otherwise. I feel like that's why I like watching like old wrestling. Cause Maybe it takes that was you a little harsh. Like... <laughs> what? That's why I like watching like old wrestling because it takes you back to like the you know what I mean like the first time you saw it like being a kid like yeah. Like well, I'd much rather watch like an old Raw than like this week's episode of Raw. Well, Fitz is uh used to let me use his old um WWE Network password, so I had it linked to my Xbox, so I would watch pay per views and stuff on that. But uh, I never really kept up with any of the up-to-date stuff. Yeah, actually, you know what? In the comments on YouTube and stuff, people were hitting me up saying that we should talk about wrestling. So here you go, guys. We're talking <laughs> about wrestling this time. Um, subject change, wrestling. Yeah, but anyway, when I was using his account, I would always, like, actually, this is when Ash was first born. Holy shit. So, like, three years ago. Yeah, I started from the beginning, and I watched the first three or four years of um, WCW Nitro. I just love wrestling way back when the fucking gimmicks were ridiculous and all the guys wore, like, neon cl- uh, colors and they just looked fucking stupid as hell. Well, see, I like it. It was better back, like, not to sound like old, like, better back in my day, but, like, back then it was, like, it was, there was stories. It was, like, watching, like, they used to call it a soap opera, soap opera for guys. Like, it was, yeah, you know what I mean? There was a story to it. Now it's just, like, this guy doesn't like this guy, so they're going to fight. Okay, they fought five star match. Now he doesn't like this guy. That was a two star match. Like, it's all about like. It sounds stupid, but now it's like more about the actual matches, like not the yeah. That's I know. Story. I, I thought that too. There was a while when I'm like, oh, I don't really care about the matches. I kind of want to see what's gonna happen next with uh these guys with this storyline. I don't really care about the fucking wrestling. Right, match. you know, right. <laughs> but I mean, the matches would still be good, but it was more like the story behind them that made them good. Um. Oh, what the hell was I gonna talk about with the old wrestlers? Shit, who's the guy with the uh that had the scissors? Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Yeah, like that gimmick. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you ever hear the story how he got arrested in Boston? Cause he, wait, yeah, he was in the subway, right? Yeah, he worked for the subway station. Random as hell. And uh, he had a giant bag of coke, and it was during like the anthrax scare and stuff way back, like oh yeah, early two thousands, and he mm-hmm. got, like got arrested. He had to like admit that it was his giant bag of coke and not anthrax. Doesn't he own like a Planet Fitness around here or something? Yeah, we're from the Massachusetts area. In case we didn't mention, didn't he that like the last start time. Planet Fitness? I don't. I, I he's got some kind of a stake. Oh, maybe it was like him. World. Was it World Gym? Or was it Planet Fitness? I think it was Planet Fitness. Yeah. Plan, Planet Fatness. I think you're right. Yeah, I'm right about something for once. Wow, first time for everything. Well, yeah, I have not caught anything up to date with anything in wrestling. But in, in case any of you guys care. The people that I think that are around now, I love Seth Rollins. I like Dean Ambrose. I fucking hate Roman Reigns. Have you seen Dean Ambrose? Uh, yeah, he's like way bigger and he like shaved huge, his head, yeah, right? Yeah, grew a beard. Because that's probably healthy. Um, oh, now, is he a good guy or a bad guy? He's a good a guy. Heel the or a face? Back and, yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah, Braun Strowman went to cash in the Money in the Bank, and the Shield music hit, and they came out and stopped him from cashing in on uh, Roman Reigns. Are the Hardy Boys still around? I loved the Hardy Boys when I was growing yes, up. Yes, and Jeff Hardy, you should probably watch the pay-per-view Sunday because Jeff Hardy's literally going to die. He's in a Hell in a Cell match with Randy Orton, 
and there's rumors that it's his last match. Mm-hmm. So you know he's gonna swan ton he's off the cage. Scene. Oh shit! Yeah. You well, know... I used to I used to make him do that in all the SmackDown games and No Mercy. <laughs> yeah, that's... he lived in those. <laughs> oh wait, that's a video game. Video game logic. He'll just bounce. But yeah, I really think he's gonna like die. He's gonna try to swan ton off the cage, and he's gonna die. Because he's like 50 and his body can't take it anymore. No sh- Now, is Matt still around too? Yep. He's okay. um, a tag team of Bray Wyatt. What the hell? Yeah. I could see that. They're I called the Deleters of Worlds. Okay. <laughs> Delete. Um, oh, speaking of old wrestlers, this Saturday I'm meeting three of my heroes, meeting the NWO, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and X-Pac. Not the One Warrior Nation, the no. NWO? Okay. No. Are you surprised I knew that? No. Oh, W. Actually, yes. <laughs> um, I met Kevin Nash before, and he was a huge dick. Yeah, you met him at a Comic Con, right? Yeah, Rhode Island Comic Con oh, a couple years ago. What if ago. he remembers you and he's a he's a dick again? What if he remembers me and apologizes for being an ass? Oh, that could be cool. <laughs> you you should wear shorts so you can show him the NWO tattoo I did on you. As, even though it's a click tattoo, but I will definitely still show him. What the hell's the? Did you say a clit? <laughs> yes, I did. No, it's a click. <laughs> the click. Click 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 boom! I got it. All right, let's see. Tell me who the five members of the Click are. All right, let's see if I know this. All right, it's it's Kevin Nash. Uh, it, does it matter what fucking gimmick name I give nope. him? Razor Ramon, X Pac, Triple H, Shawn Michaels. That's it. Okay. I was, Good job. I, I, lost con- co- I lost count. I thought I was at four. <laughs> Very proud. I cannot fucking talk. Do I stutter? I feel like I'm a bad speaker. Bad speaker? I don't talk well, I feel well like I'm a speaking. bad talker. So anyway, you meet in the clit. Well, um, yes, at the Brockton, Brockton, uh, I, now you, it's contagious, now I can't talk. By the way, you guys, we just worked really, really yep. long shifts at our jobs, and we're doing this in at fucking like 11.30 at night for you guys, so I just hope you like worked like, like 55 hours and four days, so I'm a little tired. Right, this means we're going to be awesome, because we're oh, going yeah. to sound high. Could make it better, though, sound drunk. <laughs> we are, We already do. Um, so, NWO, but yeah, One, one Warrior Nation. I'm meeting them at, um, the, it's a baseball field in, in a little place called Brockton, that we have, near where we live, and, um, they're doing a show, like, they're doing an autograph for two hours before, and then they're gonna, um, wrestle, like, under the lights, set up a big ring in the middle of the baseball field. It's gonna be awesome, I can't wait. Wait, are they gonna, so who are they gonna wrestle, like, local people? No, they're not wrestling, they're just gonna come out. I was gonna say, that isn't Nash, like, falling apart, yeah. like? Well, Scott Hall was just in the hospital last week. Again? He had a heart, like Jesus. a, not a heart attack, he had a heart episode or something like that, they called it. You know, he has a pacemaker. You know, it was a really good movie that, uh, that Scott Hall was in, that recovery movie about, um, Jake the Snake. Oh, I need to watch it? that. It was on Netflix and I watched it and I am a horrible person because I was really, really, really drinking a lot that night while I was watching that. Wow. I know, and it's a, <laughs> this movie about Jake the Snake Roberts trying to turn his life around. The reconstruction and, of Aaron Belafonte. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Jake the Snake's accomplished a lot more in his life than, uh, than I have. Oh, yeah, he was just at Starland signing autographs last week. He's he's doing good. Yeah, that could be us someday. <laughs> that could be us someday. Right, you guys, that follow us on iTunes and Facebook and Instagram in, yeah, but in my YouTube channel, there's a difference between two idiots signing autographs to Stalin and someone who was like, at one time a millionaire, one of, yeah. one of the biggest names in the world. He in that it says he has like seven kids. Oh yeah, good God! Yep. Wow. So he, yeah, he. I I wanted to go to that Jake the Snake thing, but I ended up having to work, of course, because that's all I freaking do. Um, Fun fact, I think I mentioned this already in the last podcast because Styland's ringing a bell to me for some reason. Styland, they have arcades there, correct? Mm -hmm. Because that's where I'm pretty sure that's where I played the first Mortal Kombat for the first time in my life in like 1990. Wow. At Styland. Styland been around that long? It has to have been. Wow. They have like go-karts and rides and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that, that was definitely the place. I missed that arcade that used to be, now we're getting like local, no one's going to know what we're talking about. (laughs) That place that used to be near, like, Frank's Pizza, where, like, Building 19 is yeah, now? Yeah, okay. Now, see, if you guys follow my YouTube channel, I've mentioned a bunch of times, there was an arcade across the street from my mom's house called Replay. Yes. And then they changed the name to Replay 2 for some reason, I think, because there was another Replay, whatever. Um, but yeah, oh my fucking Christ. They had every game you could think of. Like, I would just walk up the street or after school uh, with my friends, and they had Metal Slug, Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2... No way, uh, Golden Axe too. Gold, <laughs> Mike, I will pull your pants off. 
I will start talking about <laughs> uncomfortable things you don't want to talk about. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, what? Uh, okay, so yeah. Um, Golden Axe 2. That's the first. Pl- that's the place where I first played Killer Instinct. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 2. You know, it, it was an arcade. It had every single game you could ever think of. It's closed down in the last few years, but... The last few years, it closed like 20 years ago, something like that? It could not have been 20 years. It had to it have been at been least long- 10 all right, it's been a long time, maybe like 10, 15? maybe ten or fifteen years. And you know what? I'm at fault because, I mean, I we all play well us that game. We mostly play our own home consoles, or you can just emulate most of the games on your computer now. And so you're saying you, you kill the arcade by playing with yourself? Yep. Unbelievable. This kid gives me like six warnings before <laughs> we push record to start recording this podcast. No talking about sex. No talking about weird shit. Just made a sex joke. You son of a bitch. That's me. Uh, now I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You know what's weird? Like, I remember being blown away by arcades. You know, like, say, I'm at Replay 2, and they have Street Fighter 2 there, and I'm like, oh my god, games are never going to be as good as, like, Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat. This is unbelievable. And then, now in life, Halo 5 takes up probably the entirety of like every single game at the arcade combined in like memory and like gigabyte wise and like street fighter 2 if you were to put it on your computer probably takes up the same as like four songs on your itunes collection it really is crazy yeah and like those are the arcade cabinets aren't that expensive actually really well i think one of the most expensive ones is ninja turtles for no reason it's just because it's popular and well known those are like a couple grand our friend jimbo uh actually has one i believe and he has golden axe too we should fly to his place just to play that. Let's go. I feel like he's going to rape us, though. So Maybe not you, definitely me, though. I believe it. I would say I apologize for making that Jimbo, but I don't apologize. <laughs> That's an actual genuine fear. He meant every word of it. <laughs> I meant every word of it, Ryback. <laughs> Remember the night, again, this is probably people don't get it, but the night that Colin, Aaron's brother-in-law, mm-hmm. he bought like an X-Men Arcade game? Yeah, ran it. had it, like, in his shed? My sister's husband uh, used to run a, like, moonwalk business. Not, like, like a dance class for, like, <laughs> Michael Jackson impersonators. It was for, uh, you know, bounce houses. Not for, like, sexual activities. It's just, like, you know, those things that they blow up in their castles and you jump around in them. Wh- oh, where was I going with <laughs> where this? Where did that go? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> where did that come from? Yeah, he randomly... He owned, like, 20 moonwalks. Again, not Michael Jackson dance moves, but... <laughs> But, uh, no, he owned a bunch of moonwalks, and then in his office, um, he b- random as hell bought the uh, X-Men arcade game cabinet. Not the six-player one, though, the four-player one. But, uh, yeah, that's a good game. I, I like Nightcrawler. That's my fa- that's one of my favorite X-Men besides Deadpool, obviously, and Wolverine. Also, remember the night we were playing, was it the same game, but on, like, Xbox or something? It was. One, this is one of the, na- the, the times I basically, like, video game tied you down to yeah, play Yeah, he like held me game. hostage. Um, he wanted like an achievement or something. And it literally was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And he's like, just one, we just gotta beat this game. Like, just take like no, 10 more minutes. Alright, hold on. That is not how it was. We were, we, yeah, like I basically held him hostage to play the X-Men arcade game. You could download it on Xbox 360 and PS3, etc. Now you can't get them because the license switched, but I have it on my hard drive still. Anyway, so we're playing through it fucking exhausted we're just like like Fitz is just bitching about life and like it was a miserable night and he's like is this almost over and he forgot about if you guys have played this game Mystique's in it and you fight her like she dresses up as a what was it Magneto Magneto you, we, we we go through all the bosses again on Asteroid M or whatever the fucking hell the last level was you beat Magneto it turns out it was Mystique Mike's like oh finally are you fucking kidding me that's <laughs> not it it was fucking Mystique then it goes to Magneto so we beat him we go through, Fitzgerald was using his offline Xbox Live profile. He gets the achievements for beating it with whatever character it was or whatever. And I'm like, looking through the old achievements, because for the digital titles, that was digital. I'm nerding everybody out right now. Mm-hmm. There was a total of about 12 achievements for each digital game, I think, like an arcade title. That's what they call them, Xbox Live Arcades. And uh, one of them was to beat the game in under a half hour, I think. And I'm like, oh, there's an achievement for beating it in under a half hour. And we both just, like, stared at each other. And Mike's like, you want to try it? I'm like, all right, yeah, sure, let's do it. I mean, we just beat it. We already know, basically, the crash course of how to run through the game. So we did. You earned a rare achievement that night, my friend. Well, that, too, that story, when you were just, like, we looked at each other and we're like, you want to try it? How many times in our lives have we been in that situation? I know, right? With our pants off. 
No. So you always <laughs> you always gotta take it there. <laughs> that's what she said. Um, like the night outside the gay club. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Well, I wanted to talk more about that X Men night because actually, okay, we'll get but, back but then we'll talk about the gay club. Maybe <laughs> if you, if we forget, remind us on the YouTube comments because I don't know how to interact with you guys on iTunes if it's even possible. But uh. What the hell were we talking about? I think we talked about most of these stories on my YouTube channel in the unscripted Fantastic Fridays videos. There's a Did playlist we? for them. There's uh, 25 videos. Watch them. Now. Tomorrow. After the podcast. After, Finish, after the podcast. Yeah, d- n- not... What am I saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, we, <laughs> when we beat that X-Men movie, I, this kid this kid I'm sitting right next to, Fitz, is always fucking sick. Every, like, November, December, and January, this kid no, every is, like... January. This kid is nothing but sick. So, it must have been a January that we played it at mm-hmm. my old apartment, like, ten years ago. And, uh, yeah, you, like, went outside and just, like, puked, you said. No, on your that, way to your car, you just couldn't That was stop. a different night. That <laughs> was... <laughs> there was another time that I tied you down and made you play, like, Halo, probably. Oh, there's been, like, a million of them. No, the night I puked in the parking lot was Noel's birthday. We went to the 99 and then no, back to your apartment. That's my sister, by oh, yeah. the way. Whoops, sorry. I forgot that I forgot that we were like actually talking to other people. Not <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, Aaron's sister, Noelle, we went out for her birthday. And then we went back to his apartment. I was like, oh, like, I'm really not feeling that great. I'm like, all right, I think I'm going to take off. I'm not feeling that good. Halfway to my car, just puked all over the parking lot of Aaron's apartment building. How are you alive? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, well, it's I, not so disappointed about I, it, though. I, I, I ask myself that every day. I assume you do, too. But I, I, I fear that about you because you're always puking. Actually, that's not true. He's not always puking. No, just, Are you? Just want to eat the 99 and get food poisoning. That's probably what it was. But 99's great. Don't sue us. And that's uh, one of our video sponsors, actually, <laughs> is uh, Everyone Eat at the 99 <laughs> Restaurants. The 99. Best meal in town. Is that really how the catchphrase goes? I think so. I can't think of how the song goes. Is there even a song to Chili's? I mean the 99, Jesus. <laughs> this is a chili song. Jesus. There's a Pizza Hut song that you <laughs> when I sang the baseball Pizza Hut song. Oh yeah, if you want to listen to Fitzgerald sing the Pizza Hut song, <laughs> back in like 2014, no. we recorded ourselves, well, I recorded them, us playing uh the Ninja Turtles 2 arcade game for Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, it's a four-part Let's Play, and Fitz starts singing the song in either okay, no. episode one or two. I so let me explain what the song is, though. I'll put the link in the description below if you're li- watching this on YouTube or listening to this on YouTube. Anyway. So back, this is how obsessed I am with Ninja Turtles. Back when the original 1990s movie came out on VHS, I watched it so many times. There was a Pizza Hut commercial before it. <laughs> and I would still, to this day, 1990, so what, how many years later? Like... 30, a lot. Yes. Yeah. Like 37. Still, to this day, can sing that Pizza Hut song from beginning to end without even Actually, missing a beat. Actually, 27, not 37. Yeah. Well, you know, everyone's going to either give you shit and want that song next episode, or like that could be the running thing that you'd never sing the song yep. for the next like 20 that, episodes. That's what it's going to be. Cause that's I'm what not. it's going to be? Yes. It was about a kid playing baseball, and he's singing about like playing <laughs> baseball, and he catches the ball, and then the whole team goes and gets pizza, but... You can you can put it on. We put the link in the uh, description or something like that. All the right. commercial. Didn't I send you a meme of that the other day when someone was like, "The best concert I've ever been to in my life yeah, was, was Eminem," the... <laughs> but then someone goes, "Me, an intellectual," and it's a picture of that Ninja Turtles. Yeah, the thing. coming out of our shells tour. Yeah, I, that's such a weird name for a thing. <laughs> what are the turtles trying to tell us? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's kind of hot actually. What's wrong with a gay turtle? <laughs> Would they call them girdles? <laughs> no. I'm wearing a girdle. Not surprising. What is a girdle? <laughs> I thought I just made that up. Are you a girdle? <laughs> are you? Uh, <laughs> are you drunk? I think I might be. What's in that drink? I don't know. Fruit punch and vodka. Ugh. That would actually be delicious. <laughs> yeah, I can smell it. It's definitely not vodka. It's piss. Yep. Piss and vinegar. Vinegar and piss. I did get piss all over my hand at work today. Okay, do you want to talk about that? <laughs> I was at the movie theater. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work at a movie theater, but I'm also a phlebotomist, medical assistant. So I deal with urine and that stuff all day. So that's why I had pee in my hand, not at the movie theater. No, so it was someone else's hand. pee. It w- certainly so was. That is so fucking weird. I don't think you and I, you or I, could switch like jobs. I was gonna say positions, <laughs> but that would have sounded wrong. It would have went somewhere bad. Yeah, like you get like. 
bodily fluids and I get bodily fluids because I get people's blood on me when I'm tattooing <laughs> them and you and I'm like okay with it it totally does not weird me out and you're like oh yeah I got pissed on today <laughs> well like, I had I should have put gloves on because it's very unsanitary no we had gloves but I just grabbed the pee cup to bring it back to the lab so they could do the test on it and I'm like oh why is this all wet and the lady I work with was like I'm sorry Mike but that's pee and I was like oh <laughs> uh, was it was it all warm yes it certainly was was it was it was it hot you probably would have thought it was. Yeah, from like an 86-year-old lady. Did you smell it a little? I did. That was a family guy reference for you guys. <laughs> was she wearing a girdle? Yes. <laughs> oh, so you know what a girdle is. <laughs> you just lied to our audience. I, I did. I did. I don't apologize. Right now, Aaron's thinking of the seven girdles he has in his closet at home right girdles, now. Girdles, girdles. Girdle, gir- girdle, girdle. I tattooed um, one of my YouTube friends a couple weekends ago, uh, Jason. Jason uh, Voorhees. I'll put the link to one of his to his channel or something in the description below. If you again, if you're following this on YouTube, shout out to you, Jason. He got a Triforce on his hand. He's he's fucked. He always like messages me like one thing in advance that he wants, and then he'll like send like seven other ideas, but he doesn't like send the picture really. He'll like tell me what they are. I'm like Jason. I'm just gonna wait till you get here, and we'll do it like all at once. Like I'm getting way too confused and like anxiety ridden. Like, trying to, like, plan this stuff out. I'll just wait till you get here. But it's always, like, like 11 tattoos. Not, like, big ones, but... I mean, the Triforce was kind of big. So, yeah. Sure. Cool. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I don't think I have any th- cool tattoo stories for for you guys for this episode. Not as cool as getting a lady piss on your hand? Well, I, for- <laughs> I forgot. I know we're going to kind of run with episodes, like, you know, episode one, episode two for this, etc., we still, you want to name episode one the phantom penis? <laughs> That's what you said. Sure. Don't look at me like I'm the fucking one with the phantom penis. You were like, I think we should call it the phantom penis. I'm like, no. I'm going to give him a month and then text him again about this. And I he, can... Aaron kept texting me, what should we call it? I just kept giving him like this, the worst responses. What were some of the other ones I said? That I don't know, but you're a cunt. <laughs> I think that was one of them. Oh, my contact lens just shifted. That, that, should be the name. that should be the name of this episode. Episode two, I don't know, but you're a cunt. <laughs> All right, I can do that. We're we're rated E for uh for everyone for explicit on iTunes, so we can say cunt, 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 cunt. cunt. I don't usually ex- like s- express the T at the end. I say cunt, <laughs> cunt, cunt. We can swear, fuck, fuck, <clears throat> unless I'm really ha- angry. Mother cunt. fuck, fuck, shit, shit, fuck, fuck. Random as hell, cause that's how we roll. You know what movie me and Meg watched what? a couple weekends ago? The new Strangers movie. The new one was it good? It was awesome. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I have weird taste when it comes to movies. I pretty much like everything. What? Uh, but not everything. <laughs> let's say you hate everything. I what used to hate. Okay, are you okay. About? Let's look, history lesson. So when I was like straight edge for like multiple years, like well over, I think ten years, right? Something like that. It, yeah. It's like debatable. Everyone's like, no, you were like, how do you people know me more than <laughs> I know me? They're like, oh no, it was twelve years. No, it was nine. No, I think it was ten. I think it was thirteen. What the. F- Whatever, it was a long time. It was well over a decade-ish. But uh, that's when I was really angry, and I just hated everything. Like, I feel like in real life, CM Punk is, like, annoying because he's that friend that complain- has to complain about everything. Like, let's go see this movie. Oh, I don't like that actor. Let's go eat this food. Oh, I don't like the french fries there. Oh, let's go to this restaurant. No, I don't like this one guy that worked at the one place in New York, even though I'm never going to go to New York. This being someone else. He just finds reasons to hate everything. That's what I was like. I fucking hated everything. I still have little tidbits of me in like that, but I'm not as bad as I used to be. You want want to give me an example? Give the audience an example of how bad I used to be? Oh, yeah. Um, Give me a second. I'll definitely think of something. Because back when, like, dude, I loved punk. I still do. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. But um, he was going on some rant bitching about fucking, what was it, uh... Who's that bitch that had that like the eight kids? John and Kate plus Kate, oh, Kate yeah. Goslin. He was like making some random rant about how he hates people that have Kate Goslin haircuts, and he's going off on this tangent about America being obese or something. All this shit that he hated, and it was a fifteen minute rant. And Fitz goes, "Fucking Christ, CM Punk is you." <laughs> like, yeah, God, is that really what I fucking sound like? It really like? was. You were bad. Um. I can't. I can't like, think of any examples. Like, of I don't, you, like, like, well, I don't even care about games. I mean, I used to be like hateful about games. Even like, I would get resentful that Call of Duty dethroned Halo, and then I was like, oh no, the only kinds of people that like Call of Duties are bro. Call of Duty games are bros. So like, I lumped them all into this one kind of person when it's like women and like 
Every man, everybody plays Call of Duty. Who the fuck cares? Like what games people like? Why did I care so fucking much? I was like defending Halo as if it like mattered to my life. Well, I think me and you used to argue because like, like remakes used to be a big thing with you. Like it did, it did. And I'd be like, oh, like movie remakes, movie remakes. Like RoboCop, the RoboCop remake wasn't the best movie, but it was good. And you're like, nope, nope, it's not. Like you used to get like, pit. I'm trying to think of some other remakes that were wicked good and that like. You were just like, nope, I'm nope, I'm not acknowledging it. Nope, nope. Yeah, I don't know why. I, to, I mean, I am still kind of picky about actors. Like, I don't like, I don't like Justin Timberlake. So, I mean, if he was in a movie, I kind of it kind of would probably discourage me from seeing it. See, I love, but the only actor I'm like that with that if they're in it, I'm like, I, I'm not. I know exactly where you're going with this, and I'm in the same way. But go on. Jack Black. I, oh, I was gonna say Tom Cruise. Oh no, I thought you were gonna say Tom Cruise. I don't like him, but he won't stop me from seeing like a movie. Um, no. Such a random person to hate, I, Jack Black. I can't stand. What him. if he's I, listening to this? Good, fuck you, Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> hope you die, Jack Black. All right, that's a, what if he definitely heard that? <laughs> Good, I hope you're listening. <laughs> fuck yourself, Jack Black. Jack Black cock. But um, school, kinda... school of cock, Jack <laughs> Black cock. <laughs> the everyone loves Raymond. It's just a good show. Forty year old virgin references for you guys. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other. Oh. One thing of how you've changed, you used to hate Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, you're right. And then I think the movie that changed me, not Deadpool, was uh, when you the, he he t- this kid basically tied me down to like watch Waiting, and I was like, all right, this is actually hilarious. Yeah, and, that, like and he's really cool. He's a good guy. <laughs> and I feel like if you gave like like Jimmy Fallon, you hate. I think if you gave him a chance, you would like him. Justin Timberlake. No, nah, gave... I don't. I don't really hate just uh, G- uh Jimmy Fallon anymore. I've let go of most of that stuff. Yeah. It was unhealthy to be that angry. I don't know how I'm still alive. That rage, like. <laughs> but you used to hate just like, like, I'm not gonna say you hated just anyone that was happy, but like someone like a Jimmy Fallon who was just like a nice guy. You yeah. know what I mean? You'd be like, no, fuck him. Like he's hiding something. Fuck him. Like I'm, I can still get like kind of douchey about tattoos. Like I can like read people and be like oh, of course you want like blank as a tattoo. Like oh, of course you definitely want you want that blank tattoo like I'm not gonna say what kind because I don't want to offend anybody listening and be like of course you're one of those but if you get this of course generic type of tattoo that means you like this type of game you like this type of music and I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa Aaron you're rolling back to like 2004 you like stop being like that you're already gonna hurt this person by tattooing them like that the, you can't get much more revenge than that yeah you you sign that paperwork you could kill them if they want if I kind of forgot to. about that you were like you were really bad yeah it's uh, such a waste of years. It was yeah. a healthy decision, but it was a... I don't know how I stayed sane. Even, like, back to, like, the Marvel movies. Like, no, too many people like them. I don't know. You wouldn't even, know. like, consider it. I'm like, no, like, yeah, people like them because they're good. Like, just give it... Nope, nope, nope. Like, maybe in 100 years I'll watch them. And then you watch Avengers one day randomly, right? You yeah. Didn't... That was after, like, just the resentment type stuff, like, all went away. I don't know. Like, I used to get mad if people would like... I, I seriously, I was that guy. Like, if suddenly there was, like, another movement and, like, Marilyn Manson's kind of irrelevant now to the mainstream. I fucking love the guy. Met him once, too. I don't think we mentioned that last podcast. But, um, nope. yeah, if suddenly there was, like, a resurgence and, like, everybody and their mother, be- like, loved him, I'd be like, what the fuck? I like him. I never gave up on him in the last, like, 15 years when no one cared about him. Like, why is he popular again? He's mine. It's not fucking mine. I met him one time. He doesn't fucking care. Well, I kind of... Why do I care? No, I kind of get that, though, because, like, with comics, like, when I was a kid, and, like, I've been into comics for literally 30 years now, and back, like, in high school, or even, like, younger than that, like, if you read comics, like, you were a geek, you were a nerd, like, people made fun of you and gave you shit about it. Now it's, like, you see all these douchebags, like, with their brand new Captain America shirt going to see the movies, and, like, like, oh, yeah, I love all these movies. Like, no, like... Where the fuck were you years ago? Like, this this has been my thing. You know what I mean? Like, I think Kevin Smith explained it perfectly. It's like watching someone who just met your wife fuck your wife. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's you, amazing. You love this thing. You've nurtured this thing. It's yours. You love it so much. And some douchebag just gets to fuck it. Like, no, like that's mine. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> does that make sense? Does yes, that... that makes. T- I love that analogy. <laughs> But is now, that how you feel about, like, Marilyn Manson? And... Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Like, a bu- like people have been... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've actually tattooed a bunch of people recently that are, like, really young, like, in comparison to us. 
And they mentioned, like, yeah, I've been getting into your boy Manson. I'm like, what the hell, really? <laughs> I'm like, now I've been hearing that a lot. And, like, he's kind of getting bigger on Instagram. And he's an old man. I'm like, is this, like, a thing? Like, he's going to be, like, big again now? I mean, his last two albums, I'm biased, but his last two albums were fucking masterpieces, especially the last one. Heaven Upside Down. Fucking fantastic CD. Yes, I call it a CD because we still buy them. Because <laughs> we're old. Yeah. Oh, remember last episode I said something about, oh, someone just dropped a new track or someone just yeah, dropped a new... I told you new... never say it again. Yeah, we, no, we someone, in the, someone that watched on YouTube, that w- that listens to this on YouTube, was like, yeah, I can say as like a 17-year-old male, I've never said the word dropped and neither has anyone else <laughs> I've ever met. I'm like, shit. He's like, none <laughs> of my peers have either. I'm sorry I'm not looking in the comments right now. I can't give you a shout-out. But this <laughs> is my shout-out, because I remember you saying that. You, like, I don't know who's subbed to me on YouTube. I never check, like, the people that are subscribed to me, because it's, like, weird to me. Like, I'm flattered, but I don't know. I feel, like, weird. I appreciate it, but it's, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. But that person, let's just say maybe they were subscribed to my channel. Like, so I've been making videos for, like, five years. What the hell? They never they never commented in the last five years, but they did on the podcast. Son of a bitch. This podcast is going to bring them all out. Yep. If this if my channel blows up because of this podcast, I'm going to be so resentful towards you. Yeah, all because of me. Actually, I always I always have been. Yeah, you really have. No, I haven't. Kid's jealous. You know what we haven't awesomeness? talked about? What? Two things we mentioned first episode. I'm going to cut you off because you talk too much. Um... I do. I'm, okay. He doesn't talk too much. We mentioned that our plans for the weekend after the last podcast episode was I was going to the last Warp Tour, supposedly, of of ever in 2018. Me and my brother went, and it was awesome. It was a great time. Um, it was hot as hell. I am an idiot, and I drank a friend. I drank with a friend and my brother, and I'm like, it's way too hot. Why am I doing this? I'm retarded. I got super dehydrated. I almost passed out in a mosh pit. It was like 900 degrees out. Um, I wore a fucking thermal long sleeve sweater with ho- random holes on the shoulders. So I got like two sunburns on my shoulders. <laughs> it looked like I had like weird oval shoulder pad burns. But uh, I had mentioned that I wanted to see this band Necrogoblicon where they're kind of gimmicky. They're like scream. If you guys listen to music that are listen to this podcast, they're kind of a mix between punk and Children of Bodom. And they have like a weird guy that's dressed as a goblin that's like their. Uh, what's the word? Mascot. Yes, their mascot that runs around and uh, we put on a good show. And me and my brother met them after Warp Tour. We went to that tent and met them, and we got our picture taken with them. It's on my Instagram. Go check it out. Unless you guys want, and you don't follow me on Instagram, you follow the podcast. I'll put it up on the podcast Instagram. But uh, it was a good time. I got to see Falling in Reverse. They didn't. They weren't going to be there. I guess Ronnie Radke and Falling in Reverse. I'm boring Mike now because he doesn't care about music. We're, we're only going to do three or four dates on this Warp Tour, this last one, but they ended up staying for like the whole rest of the leg of the tour. So I was glad I got to see them in Boston. It was them. I saw Twisted. You know, Did you IC- really? Yeah, they were awesome, actually. Nice. I like Twisted. I like ICP. You do, too. Yeah, I love ICP. Um, like We both kind of grew up like an ICP. Not like the band ICP. Like We actually like to like see each other pee, ICP. Wow, get it? That was, ICP, that was, ICP that was just lame like, as hell. ICP just like fits wears pee. Yeah, ICP on, his hands on my hand. Um, it was a good warp tour, and actually, ICP, I mean ICP, Twisted had like Michael Myers and Freddie uh, Jason. Where really? he's like people in costumes jumping up on stage with him, and uh, yeah, they put on a good show. And there were definitely way more bands I'm gonna think of after I stop talking about warp tour right now. But yeah, it was a good time. I hope it was sold out. Thank God I got fucking tickets because it sold out. That's the first Warp Tour I think I've ever been to that sold out, and uh, it was a good time. My Mac got a random ass rice hat, so he looked like Raiden <laughs> from Mortal Kombat all day. He kept losing it in the mosh pits and stuff. Uh, oh, and Motionless and White was there. They were good. It's kind of weird seeing like a dark, evil, like goth band like Marilyn Manson play out during the daytime in the summer. It's kind of weird to me. And it burst into flames. Burst into flames. Spent way too much money on merch. I got a cool Necrogoblicon shirt. I should wear it right now. Let me go home and change and I'll come back. <laughs> okay, we'll start over at but yeah, that 2 was, in the morning. That was my thing. I think I think Warp Tour is still way too successful. It's just not going to be a giant like tour that they do across the states. It's just going to be like they'll stop in like Boston. And Boston will count as like you know Massachusetts slash Rhode Island or whatever. It's not going to do like three. I think they'll kind of do like what OzFest did. Like just do one a year instead of like a tour. 
they they could they could definitely do a one like a Lollapalooza th- type thing. Yeah. Or, well, Lollapalooza was a tour too, but I think Ozfest it does like I think it did like two or three dates or something like that. I, I hope very... they do something like that, but I'm not gonna fucking drive. Well, actually, they could probably get better bands to play. Not mm. that there's a, I don't mean better bands like bigger bigger bands. Remember that time we went in 2007 and we saw Paramore? Yep. That was awesome. And then like right, that's what I love about Warp Tour the diversity. We stayed to watch like I think it was Kill Switch Engage, and then everyone was leaving. I'm like I kind of. I kind of want to stay to watch Paramore, and you're like, yeah, I kind of do too. Not that we should be ashamed of it, because Paramore is awesome. I love Paramore. I still to this day love Paramore. Yeah, they're awesome. That new CD came out like two years ago, so it's not that new, but it's pretty good. My favorite album is that first one, the third one, and the self-titled fourth one. I like that one a lot. That one has, oh, what the hell is it, Cry to Your Mama or something yeah. like that? No. Don't go crying to your, your mama. mama. Yeah. That's oh, a good song. What's the one that looks like and the butterfly? I'm still into you. Great song. What? What's the one with like the butterfly in the CD? Oh, that's the third one. That's the one that has uh, fuck, fuck. That's a great album. Yeah, that's my favorite. It one. It has uh, misguided ghost. That's a good mm-hmm. song. And uh, you're thinking of um, oh fuck, she like came out and sang it with like Eminem, didn't she, for like some Grammy awards thing? Oh, uh, Dido. No, no. That I'm trying to think of the Paramore song that like made them huge. Uh, Misery Business? No, it's from that Butterfly album. It's the song that everybody knows. Only exception. The only exception. That's the one. All right, I probably just... I kind of ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> I could talk about music all fucking day. Our friend Martin sent me this thing, randomless hell, in the middle of the day the other day. Like, I'm in the middle of drawing tattoos for my clients, and he hits me up. What? This is, first of all, the worst, because he doesn't have a iPhone, so he can't send a giant paragraph, and, like, it's a paragraph to me, and I can read it. It comes across, it comes as, like, 57 text messages, like, bling, bling, bing, 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 bing. It wasn't, like, one giant paragraph. He was asking me about something about Manson, Marilyn Manson. He's like, yeah, I haven't really followed him. I wish I gave him more credit. And he asked me about one of the albums, and I went into this whole thing about all ten of his albums. Like, these three are a concept album. It's all one story, but it's told in reverse. This one, high end of low, is when his life fell apart. This one is when his wife left him. This one, he was in this... I just went on. I seriously probably sent him. And I sent him, like, eight giant iPhone paragraph messages, which means they probably sent to him as, like, 753 individual little 138-character text messages to uh, um, his... Galaxy S, whatever the fuck, phone. So my point being that I can talk about music all day, especially like a band or something that I'm super passionate about, like Manson of the Misfits. So I'm gonna let Tick fit Tick. I'm gonna let Fitz take <laughs> the take the uh, convo and start talking about what your plan was after the next podcast, which was eventually you went to Comic Con, correct? The Rhode Island one with Boston. with our friends. Didn't was we... it Boston? I thought you went to. No, it's Boston. Rhode Island's not until November. Didn't we talk about that last time? Oh, podcast? right. Okay, yeah. So this was the one where you met Michael J. Fuck. No. It was Michael J. Fox. Oh, right. Did we, did we talk about that last podcast? No, you said you were going to go, but oh, I thought we're the about audience it. doesn't know what happened. Oh. You... So, yeah. I when... don't mean like anything bad happened. I just mean you didn't go yet. So, I thought we had already talked about it. I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, I went to Boston Comic Con, uh, Boston Fan Expo. Uh, I met Michael J. Fox, which was amazing. Actually, wait, which, when was this, in case we did talk about it? It was... Because we did our last podcast, like, July 26th or yeah, something it was, like oh that. Oh, no, because it was in August, so... Okay, so, go on. Um, yeah, I met Michael J. Fox. I met Tom Wilson, who played Biff in Back to the Future. What the hell? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I met Leah Thompson, who played the mother in Back to the Future. Did you do face swaps with him on your Snapchat? No. Bullshit. I met... Wasted opportunity. I met Jason Momoa. Aquaman. I met Evangeline Lilly. Who? The Wasp. Oh. And Kate from Lost. Oh, yeah. Who? Um, Never seen Lost. Some friends of mine met Pee Wee... I was going to meet Pee Wee Herman, but then You I, ran out of funds. No, not even. I was like, I'm going to be good and not meet every single friggin' person here. <laughs> I made an adult decision, which was kind of regretting now. Were, but, were there any wrestlers there? Um, There's always wrestlers there. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Was Ric Flair there? I feel like he's at every wrestling. He's gonna be in Rhode Island, but um, some of my friends met Freddie Prince Jr. and one of my friends met Jeff Goldblum. I um, love Jeff Goldblum. Um, what the hell else happened at Comic Con? It was amazing. Uh, poor Michael J. Fox. It was one of the most amazing things and saddest things I've ever experienced. So, 
I'm I'm crazy, and I bought a ticket to get a picture with him and to get an autograph from him. So I did the picture thing first, and it literally is just like you walk up, stand next to him, click goodbye, like, and it was like taking a picture with like a puppet. So I was like, all right, I'll get to talk to him more like at the autograph. That's more of like a, a meeting thing when the, with the autograph. So I walk up and he's standing at the table. Most celebrities, if you've been to a convention, sit at the table and you walk up and they're like, oh, hey, like, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. He was standing, just looking around, not even like looking what he was like autographing. Like he just looked so confused and so sad. And I uh, so I looked at him and I was like, oh, like, it's so great to meet you. Like you're one of my heroes. And he just looked, like, right through me. Didn't even, like, know I was there. And it wasn't like he was being a dick or, like, being an asshole. Like, but he just was so, like, I think he was just overwhelmed or, like, he just... That and, is sad. And then someone pointed out that people with Parkinson's that advanced, it takes them a minute to, like, respond, to, like, think of something, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. like a response. So for him to talk to everyone probably would have taken, like, all day. So, like, he just probably just not ignored people but just kind of, like, didn't get into conversations. He would have been completely drained by like 50 people in. Were there right. a lot of people to meet him though? Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Sold out in like 10 minutes, not even. Holy shit, seriously? Yep. Uh, I don't think people are that like, I don't know, I guess passionate about like Back to the Future. Well, it's... Nothing against Back to the Future. Great movie. Greatest movie ever made. Great movies. Um, I But I think it's because he never really does these and it's like, it's Michael yeah. J. Fox, you know what I mean? Like, Hate to say it, but he's probably not going to be around much longer. Mm-hmm. But now, my most prized possession now is I have a Back to the Future poster autographed by Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Biff. When the hell's he mean and Christopher Lee, Lloyd? The Rhode Island Comic Con last oh. year. Once again, cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's autographed Back to the Future poster autographed by Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Tom Wilson who played Biff, and Leah Thompson who played the mother. So all of them. Yep. Huh. The Wait, only... I wasn't listening. Did you meet you the dad, Crispin Glover? No. I was going to say, the only one I need oh. is Crispin Glover, but he's, like, insane and, like, doesn't leave his house now. And yeah. So it's, like, impossible to get. Random, speaking of him, me and Meg have been watching all the Friday the 13th, like, every night as, like, a date thing, and we watched part four last night, and that was, like, his first movie, Crispin Glover's in really? it. Really? Have you ever seen it? You yeah. must have seen it. Yeah. Everyone's seen every Friday the 13th at least once. My favorite Crispin Glover movie is Willard. That movie's fucked. I can't watch that. That makes me sad. Like when he, <laughs> spoiler alert, when he turns on the rat and the rat like gets jealous that he has a girlfriend and he tried, they like, he tries to kill it. I don't know. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> I'm like, that movie makes me sad. I don't like it when people are mean to animals, even if they're like satanic rat, rats from hell. That movie's terrifying. It's adorable. Like eight-ish minutes. Eight-ish minutes? We got like eight-ish minutes left, I think, guys. I'm not sure how the internet works. But uh, on what did I say? Where I, where I host the uh, the uh, podcasts is uh, SoundCloud, and I think you're only allowed a couple like an hour a month, correct? So like I can only upload an hour a month. So that's why last episode is up. It's not that it took that long because we're that cheap to uh, pay for SoundCloud to do episode two. It's just me and Fitz literally have like the most hectic lives ever mm-hmm. imaginable. And it's hard to line up. It certainly is. And, but yeah, so I think that's how it works. So I was like, we got to stay under an hour and five minutes. We're up to about 58-ish minutes right now. And uh, did I cut you off your uh, Comic-Con story? No, it's a, I'm trying to think of what else happened. It was such a, like an amazing day. I'm trying to think of what else happened. Uh, Jason Momoa swore at me. Which is Dude, cool. That guy seems like just a cool, like he would like come down here and hang out with us and play he was Xbox. Awesome. He, uh, I had the Back to the, what, I'm still talking about Back to the Future. I'm sorry, I'm half asleep. Oh, he's the, wearing a Back to the Hu- Future hoodie, by the way, yep, you guys. that I got it, purposely for my picture with Michael J. Fox. Hopefully it shows up in the selfie we took for the icon in this episode. But, um, I got the Aquaman poster from the movie theater that I work at to have him autograph, and I handed it to him, and he, like, unrolled it, like, so gently and, like, so carefully, and signed it, like, really big, like, it looks awesome. And he started rolling up the poster, and he stopped, and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna let you do this, because I'm gonna fuck it up. I was like, whatever you say, just don't hurt me. He's, uh, how old is he? Is he like our age? Like mid-30s? I think he's a little bit older. I think he's like early 40s. Everyone sees him as whatever the hell that guy's name is from Game of Thrones. I've never seen Game of Thrones, but um, he was also in Stargate. Yeah. One of the Stargate spinoffs. That's where I know him from. There was two other people from Stargate there, and you could get like a Stargate Damn it, there were. I love Stargate. 
Who was it? Um, the, there was a girl. I don't even know. I never was really... it from the show? Obviously, yeah. which show was it? Stargate or Atlantis, Stargate Atlantis? The one, Atlantis, the one that Atlantis he was, was good, but I liked the other one better. Kind of funny that he was in Atlantis. Stargate. Atlantis, oh yeah, that's no. hilarious. I didn't even think of that. He's an Atlantean. My favorite Jason Momoa thing I've ever seen was an interview with him, and someone was like, "Oh, did you have to learn how to swim to play Aquaman?" And he goes, "Dude, I'm Hawaiian." Just like, <laughs> just like the way he said it. He's just like, "Dude, I'm Hawaiian." One. Huh? Did you know he's married to the girl from the Cosby Show? Yes, I did know that. Actually. I didn't know that till the other day. Yeah, was she there? No. I'm really cool if she was though. You know what would suck this whole time is it looks like there's not as many sound bars or whatever feedback lines showing up on the mic on the screen when I talk, but there is when you talk. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. If not, how is that? Because I'm further away. That'd be a waste of an hour. Maybe you have a louder man voice. Yeah. I'm, maybe I'm a girdle. That's why. Yeah. Don't scream. You're going to blow it, and I can't edit in, in post. Mummy! I don't know how. I know, like, as soon as we finish this, I'm going to think of, like, 20 Comic-Con stories, and I was like, shit, I should have told that. Well, that's what we can interact on. it. To be continued, I guess. To be continued. Yeah, I don't know what people usually do on podcasts at the end, towards the end like this. We, uh, yeah, we made a Facebook. I'm working on a, a, a banner photo for, like... Is that what it's called? No, a cover photo mm-hmm. for the page. Me and Fitz are both admins, so that should be interesting to see what we both put up. Because I'm not going to run it by him first if it's going to be a meme making fun of him or something. Yeah, we keep making Drake memes. Yeah, that's like the best fucking thing ever. <laughs> I, I made a Drake meme of him in a, you know, him as the clown from one of my videos, which has like 2,000 views. We already talked about that last episode. <laughs> and then uh, he did the same thing with me wearing a tube top at the tattoo shop like 10 years ago. Yep. I like spit out my drink when you sent that to me. He texted <laughs> it to me. I'm like, dude, you should. You, I please tell me you posted that. But it was, I, it was funny because I sent it to you and Meg like pretty much at the same time, mm-hmm. and you both were like, "You gotta post that." And I was like, I "Just did like five minutes ago." Yep. So does that. So we we can both interact with people on the Facebook, on Instagram. It only lets one person. I think. I mean, me and him might be able to alternate. I think I have to give him the password. But I've been posting on that. And uh, I tagged both of us in there, but I think Fitz's profile is private, so you might not be able to interact with him on Instagram because he's one of those celebrities. Oh, yeah. That's me. Um, yeah, is so mine can... private? I don't even know if it is. I think it... No, it is because I went to, like, send you something, but it said Fitz has a private account, so I don't know. It told me your pri- your profile was private. Huh. Um, not that it matters, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can interact with people on iTunes. I don't know. Just... Talk to us however you want. YouTube, whatever. I usually screen cap what people say on shit and send it to Mike and be like, oh, look what this person said. Yep, because I know really not, I'm really bad with social media. Yeah, like, same. I check Facebook, but that's like an Instagram, but I don't like, I don't know, I'm not, not good with it. I'm nah, stupid. Nah, really. kid, you're not stupid. We're just old and slightly out of touch, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you watch my YouTube stuff, and you guys like the strange episodes. It's been, my last one was in like March. Wow, that's, really? That's a long time. Yeah, I was like, eh, it's going to be a while till I can put out another one. But I, I can, do I want to say promise? My my, my kind of promise is I never, ever want to miss a Christmas time. Like Halloween's my favorite uh, season, but I like Christmas too, but not as much because I'm a like satanic evil <laughs> motherfucker. But I do like family time and Christmas, and I never want to not do a Christmas special or a Christmas episode. I never want to miss a Christmas one, so that's the next one, you guys. It's uh, I'm like actually halfway done editing it. Should I give a spoiler of what it is? Sure. It's kind of twisted metal based. Episode thirty three. It'll be coming out end of December ish, middle of December. I've been editing it at work when I'm not tattooing. So, yeah, they're coming back. Or at least well, Nick this, say that. At least this one episode. Oh, he knows. I told him. <laughs> Nick's the owner of the tattoo shop. Right. I keep forgetting that we're, like, not just talking to each other. I know, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, watch The, uh, watch the Strangers Pray at Night. Great, mo- great movie. Good movie. It has a big 80s soundtrack and everything. It's oh, awesome. You know what was an amazing movie that I just saw really what? quick before we run out of time? It's the movie Peppermint with Jennifer Garner. It's literally just The Punisher. But oh, I heard it. about that. I it's heard about so that. good. It's amazing. Yeah. I definitely recommend that I feel that like movie. someone told me the exact same analogy about it's, it. Was it's it literally you? The Punisher, probably. Maybe it was you when I visited you at the theater the other day, yeah, last week. It's literally The Punisher. It's with Jennifer Garner. It's amazing. I like Jennifer Garner. So it's Elektra? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but good? Yes. No, I've never seen Elektra. Actually, you like Elektra, right? Yeah, it was good. I have it on DVD somewhere. Cool. Cool. 
Oh, well, I guess. Well, you did the intro. Should you sign us out? I get guys re- reach out to us on Insta on social media. Do whatever you want. Follow us. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch my Aaron Strange videos. Like, share, that. and subscribe. Do all that stuff. Yeah, uh, I think are we done. Things. Yeah, I think we're done. All right. Thanks yeah. for listening. This was episode the end of episode two. Join us probably in another year or two for episode three. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was going to put up an announcement about like what you guys wanted us to talk about in this episode if you had questions, but this was kind of last minute. So, yeah, again, hit us up another time for other shit. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Have a good night or Bye-bye. day or breakfast. Later.